Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture. So in this lecture, uh, this is uh, lecture 5 in this uh, series in which we are learning the basic components of Compose. So today we will learn how we can use text field in Compose. So let's jump to jump right to coding. So here I will uh, made a demo package here in this I will create a new file called text field demo screen and make a new component text field demo screen and to see the preview of that I will make another composable method here and annotate it with preview and theme Okay, that's it. So here I will uh, use column here. Fill max size. Background color white. And put some padding. 16 dp. So this is here, uh, we will use our first uh, text field component in Compose. So let's, uh, let's say we want to take a uh, first name of the user. So for that, I will get as first name, text field. The value is where we will put the value, which will be shown in the text field and the uh, on value change this method will be triggered whenever user will type any text in the uh, text field or remove any text so here we need to opt it out like this because it's uh, some functionality is still in experimental phase but it's working perfectly so let's see in the preview here build and refresh Okay, so our text field is shown here. Let's run it on the physical device and see how it will behave if user will type any text in it. So let's run it and see effect on the physical device. So our text field is showing here, so let's type some text in it. But as I am typing from the keyboard, but it's not reflecting in our text field. So let's see what thing we are missing here. So the thing is, in the value, we have just set the empty string. So and in the on value change which will which is uh, triggered whenever user type any character from the keyboard then this on value change method will be triggered which contains in uh, which contains a new value in it. So for to reflect the changes in here let's make a variable on top of that named as first name initialized with empty string and here I will set the first name here and on value change first name dot it it will in it we have the new value which uh, is coming from the text field when user type any text in it so let's run it again
okay so here i will type the name here but it's still not reflecting the change on the ui here but uh, as we can see here we are doing all the required things which are needed to reflect the changes in the ui but it's not, still not working so here is uh, the new concept came in here in compose called state so what is state so state is basically the uh, data which uh, we want to show in the compose components so whenever the state changes means whenever the data changes our ui will be re-rendered so here are the states of uh, 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 compose component as you can see here in the uh, in documentation here this link will be also available in the uh, video description below so here is the state of the text field so text field is first when uh, when first time shown to the user it's the initial composition of the state so text field is shown to the user so uh, when text field is shown to the user during that process if any kind of data changes in that we also want to reflect that change to the user for that we will use this state so whenever the state is changes the ui will uh, recompose again and again multiple times based on the data which we are changing in it so let's see how we can define the state in here so we can define state here mutable state of and initialize it with the initial value so this is how we can define the state here but it's uh, not the correct way to uh, initialize the state object here this is because uh, uh, this is because uh, we only want to initialize this uh, state object when the first time user uh, this compose component will be initialized and composed and shown to the user so for that we will use a remember function Okay, so now this remember function will only initialize this mutable state of when user uh, when this component is first, is first time composed when the composition happens first time only during the recomposition process means whenever the data changes the recomposition will occur and the user will, and the data will be refreshed again uh, UI will be refreshed again so in that case it won't uh, initialize the state with the initial value because uh, the state contains the existing data which user wants to see so this is how we can uh, define state in compose so let's see how we can use it so here in the value we want to show the value which is in the state so dot value and if we want to update the value in the state for that we set this value just like this first name dot value so let's run it again So now type the name here and yeah it's showing according to the way it needs to work. So this is how we can uh, use uh, a simple uh, text field to show uh, to take input from the user. So what's next? So how we can use the email? Uh, take email from the user so let's say for email we create another text field here and for that I will first create a new state for email 
Okay, I will make it wall so we cannot accept this again. So this is email email dot value. And let's put some spacer here between these text fields. Okay, space have been applied here so so these text fields are saying same so let's uh, put the hint in these text fields so to set hint we have a property named as placeholder actually I have misspelled the name here let's see what's the name of this placeholder email address and here first name so paste folder have been shown here so let's run it and see it on the physical device So here I will type the email here test at gmail.com and same is here but the thing is the purpose of the email address is that user uh, uh, have to use this add symbol here actually this add symbol here and uh, so the whole purpose of this text field is to show the keyboard according to the user needs so for that i will we need to change the type of the keyboard so let's change it keyboard options keyboard type to email so now let's run it again So here if I type the email again, so here as you can see here add symbol is showing here gmail.com but for the first name the keyboard is normal we haven't seen any add symbol here so these are the difference of the email uh, text field keyboard for email keyboard so uh, uh, on uh, some devices it also shows like uh, these uh, one two three numbers are shown on top of uh, the screen just like this uh, above the uh, alphabetic characters so this is it for the email so the next is uh, password that how we can uh, show the that how we can show the password text field to the user so 
let's create another text field for that let's add spacer first 